Hey guys, welcome to today's video. My name is Justin Owens. I'm a worship leader, songwriter, and filmmaker, and I do all those things all the time. Welcome to my YouTube channel if this is your first time here. Uh, this is a channel where we talk about worship and different strategies and just life and music and all sorts of stuff. And today I'm gonna bring you a very special video called What's in My Guitar Case, Worship Leader Edition, because I'm a worship leader. And I wanna show you what's in my guitar case. I'm sure you've probably seen a lot of videos similar to this out there where it's like, what's in my camera bag? What's in my, my briefcase lawyer edition? Or what's in my coat pocket doctor edition? Thermostat, thermometer. What's in my makeup bag? Just as what's in my makeup bag, makeup edition. So we're gonna do what's in my guitar case worship leader edition. And I've got another camera set up here so I'm making sure you can see both angles because you can't really see from this angle. So. Let's dive in. Okay, this is my uh, Taylor acoustic guitar. It's a 416 CE edition, fall limited edition. And if you haven't checked out the video about the guitar, it's right here, go check it out. This is usually in your case. Oh yeah. And then there's this mic. They have a mic thing, a mic holder. I don't know why that's in here. Anyways. Okay, and you can kind of see I have like this baggage claim. It makes me feel cool and important if I keep like the baggage claim tags on here. It's like, I've traveled with my guitar. Like, you know how it feels. If you're a musician and you've traveled with your guitar, you leave it on there too, because it makes you feel like I'm a touring musician, even though I'm not. All right, so let's dive in. Here we go. Um, this is a case that is very beat up. It's got a lot of dings and scratches. There's actually a latch over here on the backside that's broke broke off like two years ago. So I've only got three latches, so let's just dive right on in here. All right. Move the couch back. All right, so number one in the guitar case is the guitar. Because that's what it, you have in guitar cases, guitars. And uh, I actually have a fresh uh, dent right here. <laughs> this is from this stupid thing. Two days ago, Jess and I were trying to film a cover video, and I dropped it, and it just went, just, oh, it hurt so bad. But like I said in that other video, like, it kind of makes it yours. It's like, there's a story behind that. So, all right. But yeah, this is my this is my acoustic electric guitar, Taylor. It's a... Uh, uh, 416 CE Fall Limited Edition 2013. I just changed the strings on it too, so it sounds really pretty. Okay, let's uh, let's see what all this stuff is. Um, chord charts for one of my songs right here. It's it's all I need. That's not the name of the song, but this is the the chart I wrote three years ago. Yeah, this was written three years ago. And uh, yeah, you should check, I'll, I'll link that song in the description below. You guys should go check that out. And then it uh, looks like we've got some other charts. Uh, Great and Mighty King by Elevation, great song. Um, looks like a set list. Also on the back of this chart was a set list as well. Looks like from like a little singer songwriter gig I did a few years ago. Real life tell, ooh, Cornerstone. Look at this. It's a business card for David Tucker, pro director of production at real life television. I did, I went to uh, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania with Marty, my friend Marty, uh, back in 2016 and we played on TV. I'll link those videos below. My Anchor Holds. Oh, this is a good song by Brandon Lake. If you're not familiar with Brandon Lake, he's with Bethel Music now, but uh, that's a good song. Played that a couple times. No Other Name. Oh. This is one of my favorite songs right here, No Other Name, a Hill song. Great. So it looks like a lot of this stuff is just chord charts, Holy Fire, uh, Pressing On. This is one of my original songs, and that's the, the chart for it. The, the number charts. I did, oh yeah, I remember this. I did, uh, so my friend Marty, he uh, got a call back for The Voice back in 2016, 2016. Yeah, and uh, he had me play guitar for him, so we went to Memphis, and uh, these were the, the two songs he played. You Give Love a Bad Name by Bon Jovi and Don't Stop Believing by Journey. And then it looks like, this looks like a song I wrote, but it doesn't have a date on it or a title. And I can't read my handwriting. 
It's just, it's just like chicken scratching for the most part. And then another set list, yeah. Looks like, there was a, a good set of, or a good list of maybe like 20 or 30 songs. I would go just play at coffee shops or wherever I could. There's a place called the Fontanelle up in uh, White's Creek, Tennessee. And uh, I would play there every so often, just in the restaurant. Yeah, it was a lot of fun, it was a lot of good practice. Got to try out new songs, some of my favorite songs. And you got paid, you know, you got, you got tips. You know, you, you could walk away with 50 bucks, 50, 60 bucks in an hour uh, for an hour set. That's not bad. Heritage Christian Church. I don't remember this. Oh, that's Jess's church. We did a, a show, or a, what did we do? Oh yeah, for her mom, she uh, uh, had an event that we came and played uh, some songs for, so that was fun. And then there's just a bunch of dog hair and dirt and a bunch of other stuff in the felt lining of this guitar case. Let's get to the meat of this guitar case. Let's see what really matters in here. All right, number one is the tuner that was in there before Jess came and put it in here. It's always been in here. This is my tuner, I've had this for years. This is the Korg uh, guitar bass tuner. It works, it does the job. And then my uh, guitar strap, I've had this for a couple of years too. This is a Levy's guitar, guitar strap. Um, and this is kind of, let me move the camera a little bit right there. And then there's this section, uh, this flip up section. This is where you can hide all of your your treats and your snacks and everything. Uh, so this is this is where I put the polish and the cleaner if ever I'm out on the road or if I've got a gig or something. This I don't necessarily need every time, so I might not put that in there for now. And then these uh, these pliers to be able to cut the strings or or whatever. These are definitely a must-have uh, in your guitar case. And, uh, and if you've seen all this stuff in the last video I did with me changing guitar strings. And you just got your little cloth. Wipe down, get the dust off, get the oil off the fretboard and the strings. It's great. Actually, I'm gonna put all this stuff up here. All right. And then, guitar strings. These are the Elixir uh, Phosphorus Bronze Nano Web Coated, and these are the, the medium. And even on the description on the back, it says, and this is exactly how it sounds, rich, full, and smooth. That's the sound that these strings produce on this guitar, it's great but I always try to make sure I keep a spare set of guitar strings, so I just changed these uh, this weekend, and then I ran by Guitar Center and, and just picked up another set that I could have. It's always good to keep those, because if one of them breaks and you're in the middle of a set or like a, an event or something, and you have don't you have access to a store or anywhere you can get, get strings, and I've been in that position before, and ever since then, I've, I've always tried to make sure I've kept an extra pair or extra set of, of guitar strings in my case. Capo. Is a, I've actually got two capos. This one, this one's like really loose. Like the spring on it is kind of loose. This one's a little bit tighter, so I tend to use. No, this one's tighter. This one's looser. I tend to use the tighter one. And then we've got. I've got two of these things. Actually, I need to throw this one away. This one's kind of jank and old, so just throw that one away. This is the new one. This is a, a winder. Yeah, I gotta keep that in there too because you need that. Then. A couple of uh, nine volt batteries for the guitar, because that's what the guitar runs on, the, uh, the, uh, the system. So some batteries, and then I think this is it. I think, I think all that's left in here is just some uh, manuals for this guitar in this case. So that's it. Uh, thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure you like, comment below. Let me know what's in your guitar case as a worship leader, musician, whatever it is that you do. Uh, yeah, I wanna I wanna know what you guys what you guys put in your in your cases. And then here's a match. Like the like is it's like the, the tip of a match that was broken off. I don't know why that's in there. Uh, but anyways, thanks for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Peace. Put all this crap back in here.